Oh, yeah, yeah. This is Miami. Grab some Career High if you want. Thank you. Appreciate it. How's that feel? Feels good. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, feels good. Did you get hype about X51? I just got a grip of water and ice pouring on me, so I'm a little cool right now. But, uh, no, nah, I'm, I'm obviously I'm happy about it. Uh, it took me 14 years to get 50 points. Um, came in a game that we needed to win, so I couldn't, I couldn't be happier. You don't show up thinking that, but at some point during the game, do you think like, I'm on to something when here? I, when I woke up. <laughs> when you woke up? When I woke up. <laughs> Proper that's very, that's very well done. When I, when I woke up. Very well done. Um, I guess just for you, uh, you have, I think, 26 and a half in the first play. It's post up, Drew, uh, on the right block. Just what were you seeing tonight as they were just going to keep that single coverage on you anytime you're kind of around the rim? Um, I mean, just one, I think I had it going tonight. So uh, any ISOs or anything like that felt, felt comfortable. Um, either trying to get into the paint or get into my fade. They, um, I feel like my teammates are so good that they have to kind of stay out with them and it kind of gives me a chance to ISO actually one-on-one. -on -one. So um, it's a little bit easier playing one-on-one -on -one rather than one-on-two. So, so uh, yeah, just being comfortable, just getting the positions and, and making the play. Uh, I think 30 points in the paint for you tonight. Uh, just felt like Giannis. No dunks, though. Yeah, I felt like Giannis. Almost. Well, I mean, almost, yeah, almost. You, you had the breakaway. Almost. I thought, you know, after Giannis and Grayson did it, we were going to see one from you as well. Nah. No. Nah, I tried, and that was my attempt. I'll give you one again. Um, I mean, very early, yourself and Giannis clearly had something going. I mean, he almost had a triple-double, or halfway through first quarter. Um, it's been a while. I'm trying to think when a, a pair of you have had that happen. Do you feel that in the sense of like there's just that's just going to be that kind of night because it started that way almost from opening tip. Yeah, I think you can feel it. Um, and again, I, I, I felt like it was before that. I felt like our, our team and not only our team, but our captain knew what type of game it was. Uh, again, we, we needed to win, and when we need a win, we know how he, how Giannis gets. He's gonna just go crazy, and he, he started off doing that. Um, I felt like I just took the opportunities that came to me and was knocking them in and just being aggressive. So, uh, again, just for us, it's a big game because when we get closer to the number one seed and uh, knowing that this game we need, we, we went for it. Uh, this Pacers team just plays at that kind of insane pace. They're just going to keep it going. Bud, before the game, it said, like, hey, we don't mind playing fast. We like playing fast, but that means we got to get stops at some point. Yeah. For you guys to try to find that balance of like, all right, well, we can keep scoring and outscore them, but also we got to get stops eventually. How did you guys find that in the fourth quarter? I think it was transition. Um, they're a really good transition team. Uh, even after makes, getting it out and, and trying to get into the paint, somebody get a paint touch if it's uh, TJ or uh, anybody really. And then they have three point shooters. I think the way that they're built is. Uh, built for that type of game. So for us, I think in that fourth quarter, it was just about transition defense. Uh, even after we score, slowing them down and, and trying to keep them out the paint, um, not having them moving as fast as they would like to. Uh, on a night where Giannis posters someone, it's rare to think someone else had the better dunk. Yeah, he definitely. He, Grayson definitely did. Uh -huh. and, and, and on a friend. So that kind of stinks. <laughs> For him. <laughs> For him. Just, just what was your vantage point as you see kind of Grace go up and then Jordan underneath them and then fall and kind of. I mean, the dunk was crazy. The fall was crazy. You know, I was trying to see if he was okay or whatever, and then he hopped up. So at that point, I had to push him in the back because that was that was an insane dunk. That was that was nice. Uh, when we're talking to Drew. He said he felt like you because he had 30 points in the paint tonight. Uh, just would you, you feel like me? Yeah, because he had 30 points in the paint. <laughs> Um, uh, he was unbelievable today. Um, uh, we we needed that from him. You know, they were playing really good. They were playing fast. They scored 130 points, uh, and we needed every point from the 50 point he had today. Uh, he was unbelievable. He was moving the ball. He was aggressive. He was rebounding the ball. He was guarding. Uh, he was he was unbelievable. Uh, like he was the only teammate that wanted to outdo you tonight. Grayson probably had the dunk of the night. I probably, probably had the dunk of the year. Probably had the dunk of the year. Not only incredible dunk, and I think this is the first time I've seen Grayson show emotion. So I was pretty uh, excited. You know, I called him a robot. Like he's just like, 
I didn't do nothing like, hello, goodbye, I'm here, I shoot threes, I make threes, I do my job, I go home, you know, and I play video games, like that's basic, but today he had uh, Abdul Dunk, uh, as I said, Dunk of the Year, um, and I'm just happy to see, you know, uh, him showing emotion and uh, uh, enjoying it, I know the team was, you know, part of it, and uh, it was a special moment. Drew said a couple times wanted, needed to win this game in terms of wanting to win the East, and he's like, yeah, it's kind of set that tone. He's like, you're halfway to a triple double after one quarter. So what, what was that feeling like to come out feeling like you wanted to, to get this one going in tomorrow? And, and um, I didn't. They, hey, it's important. Um, always playing at home in front of the best fans in the league. Um, it's always a great feeling. Uh, being able to prepare and uh, do your routine and get ready for the game you know, at home, uh, it's definitely more uh, more comfortable. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you're going to win the game, uh, but uh, nothing is given in this league. You got to go out there and earn it, but like sleeping in your own bed and be able to interact with your family. Uh, before the game, I think he puts you in a good place uh, mentally uh, to uh, prepare for the game. But you know, just having the best league, uh, the best record in the league, and having home court av advantage uh, against everybody—that's that's also a great feeling. And you know, uh, we definitely looking to get that. We we are here. We are the number one team in the East, number one team in the NBA. We are looking to to keep it that way. Uh, hopefully, we can be healthy and. Uh, once you know the regular season is over, we still have six games. Once it's over, we get ready for the playoffs and get ready to, to go out there and compete for uh, for a championship. When did you? When did you get a feeling maybe that you're gonna have to score 150 to win? I mean, I know you'd like to get stops, but clearly at, at some point it looked like it was who was just gonna score more points. Um, I don't like being a part of games like this. Um, I don't. I don't like when we trade basket. Yeah, you know? it doesn't feel good for me. Um, it's insane. Like my rookie year when we came, we were scoring like 90 points, 80 points. Like now we're scoring 150. The other team's scoring 130. Like I don't like personally that feeling. But uh, they were playing fast. Like every basket we made, they were going the other way, and that's how they play. You know, one of the fastest teams uh, in the league. Uh, very disciplined teams, uh, and we knew that. Um, we got to guard a little bit harder and we got to be able to do the same thing. When we rebound the ball, go the other way and uh, utilize uh, our bigs as much as we can because obviously they had uh, great bigs, but uh, I don't think anybody was uh, able to uh, guard Brook in the paint uh, when he gets off his rebounds or he's in there to uh, finish the ball. What does it say about Brook that he has a career night in his 14th season? Like, this is the first time he's ever scored 50. And it's when it, he's like a veteran of all veterans. It's insane, and I'm not saying I told him this, that right before the game when I was stretching, I was like, man, because uh, somebody was saying something, oh, um, 50 balls. Something we were I, wanna, I don't want to say all the conversation, but so we were talking about 50 balls, and I was like, it's hard to have 50. It's not easy. Like, I've played 720 games my career, and I've had 50 six times, and one time in the playoffs. But... You know, it's not easy. And then I was, then we talk about Drew. It's like, Drew can have 50. And you put it in the air, and I really believe in this. And the guy came and had 50. And when he had the 50, I told him, I said, bro, I'm not even making this up. We were talking in the, in the uh, training room that you might have 50, now you had 50. And the same way I'm putting it out right now, uh, we are going to win a championship. And uh, we, we are going to play as hard as we can. That's a promise to ourselves. That's a promise to uh, you know the team. This is a promise to all the hard work we've put this year. That we're going to give everything we have to win a championship. I'm putting it out because putting it out there in the air, it works. Because today for him, it worked. He had 50. It was insane. You talked about the pace that they were able to play at and the scoring that they did. I mean, obviously they played without their top three starters tonight. I mean, what impressed you about what they did with a, a very young lineup and a lot of guys that are. Or push for playing time. Everybody, play, everybody play hard. Everybody play hard. Um, and we've played them, I think, four times. And they've played hard every single game. And you, when you come into Indiana, you got to know that that's going to happen. You know, no matter who's on the floor, no matter if 
Miles Turner is playing or Buddy Hill uh, or anybody else is playing, you know they're going to play hard. So uh, pretty very impressed, you know, on a young team like that to be able to score 130 points and play fast and be disciplined and guard and make it tough for us. You know, for them, um, the sky is the limit. They have a bright future. They have great players. They had obviously an unbelievable coach that knows the game uh, really well and knows how to put them in position to be successful. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because you know that uh, Coach Rick is always going to have guys, his guys playing hard. With, you know, Jordan obviously played with you guys for a while. So I was looking more of an opportunity in the Unbelievable. What's up? Unbelievable. He's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I believed in him since day one. You know, mm -hmm. obviously, I would love him to be still uh, a buck, mm -hmm. uh, but it's it's, uh, you know, it's business. You know, and it's things that you cannot control. Uh, I think he's a young talent. Mm -hmm. A few days ago, he set the the, mo the record for the most point in a quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like three days ago. Yep, uh, was it 25 on Saturday. Yep. Sorry, so uh, I don't know what day is today. Sorry, <laughs> today's Wednesday. Uh, five or six days ago. Yeah, four four or five days ago. Yeah. 25 points in the court. I've never done that in my career. Mm -hmm. You know, for uh, to to be able to do something like that in such a young age, you have to have touch. You have to have, you know, you know, feel for the game. Um, the, you know, he has bright future. You just gotta keep working hard, stay healthy, stay humble, and I'm so happy for this uh, opportunity that's presenting itself for him, mm -hmm. and he's totally taking advantage of it. Uh, mm -hmm. And who knows, we might be teammates again in the future. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, I uh, wish him the best. I wish he was uh, still a buck. He's not. Uh, but I wish him the best. I hope he can help his team be great. And uh, I believe in him in day one, and I still believe in him.